What's going on everybody? Do I have a very very good manga read for you? This manga is called I was a sword when I reincarnated. This is probably one of the better mangas that I've ever read and I read straight through. I binged read all 55 chapters. It is an incredibly good read and a very unique take on the whole isekai genre. As the title suggests, our main character is going to be a magical talking, very very powerful sword. And you might think that that's kind of stupid and that's what I originally thought at first, but as I continue reading the manga, I was very impressed with a lot of things. The storylines the fight scenes, how much you actually start to care about these characters, and of course there's gonna be some titties every now and then. What, what more could you possibly want? But our main character is only ever referred to as Master. He is this magical sword. He got reincarnated from his original world because he got hit by some asshole that was texting and driving and sent into this one. This manga doesn't really focus too much on this guy's past. A lot of isekai mangas will really try to draw and bring back the main character's past. This one kind of just says, hey, yeah, this guy was there and, and now he's here and now he's a sword. Let's focus on this, which I really like. And when he got reincarnated into this world, he kind of was just exploring and using what little powers he had at first and just started fighting a bunch of different monsters and getting more powerful and getting more and more skills. And at one point after he was like slaying goblins and just getting more powerful, he stuck himself into the ground where he ended up getting stuck at for quite some time. And for a while, he was literally just sitting there wishing and begging for anyone to come and help him out. Now this is when we cut to our other main character, Fran, our adorable little cat girl. She starts off as a nameless slave and they're being transported by their slave masters when their whole column gets attacked by a two-headed bear. And as I always say, bears are something like the most overpowered animals like in the entirety of existence so bears are too op please nerf and the slave masters forced the slaves to kind of be bait where a lot of them died but fran was able to survive and get away and come across this magical sword which she was able to pull out and with the sword's help destroy the bear and also kill these slave masters and her contract therefore freeing her. Now with her newfound freedom and with his newfound freedom, these two decide to team up and go on an adventure together. Fran being an ex-slave and an orphan has only really one goal in mind, to get more powerful so that way she can eventually evolve. A lot of beast people in this universe can evolve except for the black cat race which she is a part of. They are known as one of the weaker races and no one has ever evolved from that race and that is her mission. That was her mission her parents had before they passed away and that is her mission now to get powerful enough to finally evolve. And our sword, whose name is now Master, thanks to Fran, his only goal is to keep Fran alive and to continue just being a badass sword. He doesn't originally start off like that powerful. He gets more and more powerful as the story progresses. And I'm gonna try not to spoil too much of the story in case you guys do wanna read it. But as the story progresses, they do get more powerful, but we also get introduced to other powerful objects. So even though our main character is a very, very powerful sword, it is also known that in this universe, there are other swords that are more powerful than him that aren't intelligent. So he wants to get more powerful so that way he can help Fran even more. Now, even though these two are a very, very overpowered duo, they aren't like so overpowered to where they can just finish off everything that's in front of them. They do come across a lot of opponents that they either one, have to run away from because at their level, they just literally cannot beat them. Or two, the fight comes down to the wire and they get seriously injured. During one fight, she literally gets her hands cut off. But because this powerful talking sword knows some healing magic, he is able to help her real quick. They definitely get injured. The sword breaks at one point. They don't come out of every fight like a lot of isekais do where the main character is like, well, I'm just so overpowered I can do anything. They definitely struggle and they have to claw and scratch and kick and punch just to overcome every obstacle that's in their way. And this story does a really good job of explaining how like magic and the skills and how the powers work. They basically give all the credit to the gods of this world and the gods bestow the powers to the people. I like how they actually kind of explain that and it's not just like something that's in this world that no one ever really explains. And one little thing that I actually do enjoy about this manga is how they somehow manage to give a sword a personality. Like they do a really good job of expressing the emotions on the sword even though it's just a sword and really shouldn't have a face they did a really good job of being able to express like when it's happy when it's sad when it's angry when it's in just pure unadulterated bliss when it's checking out big titties like they do a really good job of giving the sword some personality and this manga definitely has its fair share of humorous moments but i think where it definitely stands out is the fight scenes. Those are some of the most entertaining fight scenes I've ever read in a manga. And I would definitely, definitely recommend you to check it out. I give it a eight or nine out of 10. It is one of the best reads I've ever read. I binge read the entire thing, so you should too. I will leave the name and the creator down there below in the description. So if you wanna go check it out for yourself, you can. The only complaint I really have is I wish there were uh, some more titties. There are definitely some titties in here, but I just wish there were a little bit more, a little bit more, and I would give it a 10 out of 10. But that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know if you guys have read this 
this. And if you have, let me know what you guys think down there below. And out of all the Isekai mangas I have read, this one is definitely the best. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.